What's up guys, it's Kieran, welcome back to my channel. I actually can't believe I'm filming this video right now. It feels like just yesterday I was moving into this room and starting work as an F1 doctor and now here we are. It's Saturday the 29th of July and I have four official days left as an F1 before I move hospitals, start a new rotation as an F2 and I can't believe it. This year has absolutely flown by and I'm unbelievably proud of myself. I feel like I've grown so much in confidence and just as a person generally and I can't believe I'm already a year into my career as a doctor, it's crazy. But this video is the official moving vlog and it's a little bit weird because doctor changeover days are on Wednesdays. So I'm actually working in this hospital on Monday and Tuesday and then I start my new job in my new hospital on Wednesday. So they really don't give you any leeway, there's hardly any turnaround time and that's why I'm very grateful because I actually have access to my accommodation in the new hospital over this weekend so I've packed up the majority of my stuff I've loaded up the car and I'm going to do most of my moving this weekend because I just want to make life easier for myself it's already a huge change with the new location the new job making new friends and meeting new people and I just don't want to let myself feel overwhelmed because because that's when I start to get very anxious and I want to be excited for this new change so I figured I would try and settle in to the accommodation as much as I possibly can and pack everything that I can and then I will make a second trip when I actually move on Tuesday night and that's when I'll take all of the rest of my stuff that I'm going to leave here like my essentials, my laptop, my iPad, all of the stuff that I'm going to need over the next couple days so it's a bit of a weird kind of staggered moving vlog but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Honestly I'm just grateful that I got to stay in one place for an entire year because throughout medical school they really just scatter you around the whole of Wales and you're constantly moving and I used to find that really overwhelming and kind of annoying because it's like as soon as you get settled and comfortable they uproot you and you move to a new place and you have to start all over again and it's just constantly you trying to make a good impression on new people, make new friends and it's quite difficult and I used to get very anxious about it so I'm glad I got a whole year in one place now and it felt really nice. Honestly though I am really excited for this new start. I'm obviously a little bit anxious but for the most part I know that I'm ready. The new hospital I'm going to is much bigger than this one and I think it's going to be a really good challenge for me and obviously if you've been following along with my doctor diaries throughout this year you know that I did really enjoy my first two placements but this last last one on general surgery has been a lot to say the least. It's been really hard and for the most part I did not enjoy it, it just did not agree with me. So part of me is very happy to be moving on, I've got two days left in this department and then I'm free, I have a fresh start and it's in a department that I love. I'm going into obs and gynae as my first rotation and if you know me you know that that's actually what I want to do as a career so I'm feeling optimistic, I'm feeling hopeful, I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling excited and those positive emotions are definitely outweighing the anxiety which is always good and I think it's natural to be a little bit nervous for moving and having all these big changes in one go but yeah, that is basically the plan. Like I said, the car is loaded up. I'm gonna drive over to the new hospital now. I have no idea how I'm gonna get my key or where I'm even based or anything really. I don't know where I'm gonna park even. So it's all new and different and something that I'm gonna have to just lean into and get on with. And I'm excited to see what the new accommodation looks like. I wonder if it's any similar to this because to be fair most places I've stayed in throughout my time as a medical student look pretty much exactly like this so I don't have high expectations but like I said a thousand times I am very excited so let's head off Okay, so this is what the room is looking like as you first walk in. Right off the bat, I can say I really like this room. It's so much more spacious than my current room and it's got so much more storage, which is gonna be so helpful. And obviously I've got a sink in my room like I've got in my current one, which is 
a lot more helpful than you'd think. So I'm going to start unpacking, but I'm not sure if I want to change the layout of this room. I might attempt to move everything around. Okay, after much deliberation, we've pretty much ended up where we started. I just moved the desk over into the corner because I thought about it and I actually have a TV waiting for me at home and I would love to bring it here. I think I've got enough room in here to be able to do that. So I wanted my furniture to be facing where the TV would be and after trying many configurations this is just what made the most sense. So I've got my bed in the same place as when I first came in and I'm going to put my TV on the desk when I eventually go home and pick it up and I think that's probably what's going to work best. And then at the moment this area looks super random because I've just left this chair in the middle of the room but what I envisioned was like a cosy little coffee slash reading nook and eventually once I've moved all of my stuff in later in the week I'm going to make it so much more cosy with blankets. I'm going to put my little rug there, little side table and then in the mornings I can sip my coffee while I look out of the window. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to start unpacking all my stuff now that I've moved everything around and hopefully get myself a little bit more organised. Okay, I have successfully unpacked everything, including all of my kitchen boxes, which I am so happy about. So while I've still got a tiny bit of energy remaining, I'm gonna quickly pop to either Tesco's or Morrison's, whichever is closest supermarket, and do a big grocery restock because I pretty much threw everything away that I had in the old place only because most of it had expired. I just wanted a fresh start. I wanted to do a massive grocery haul and it's probably like my favorite part of moving is doing the big kitchen restock so let's get going So starting off with the things that I wanted to stock up on, I loaded up on condiments because mine were either running out or expired, so I will quickly run through all of these. First things first, I got some red onion chutney, I got some more gluten-free soy sauce, I stocked up on salad dressings including Thousand Island dressing, light mayo and then vegan salad cream because in my opinion this tastes exactly the same as normal salad cream. And then just the usuals, tomato ketchup, barbecue sauce. I got some gluten-free gravy because for some reason whenever I actually want it, I never have it. So I figured I would keep that in the cupboard. I also got some hot sauce and lastly for condiments, I got some mint sauce. I also just restocked on all of the spices I use most often because I'd pretty much run out of all of them and I also got some extra virgin olive oil. I got some butter, some gluten-free oats. I couldn't find any honey to go with these when I make overnight oats so that's going to have to be on another trip to Tesco. And then if you know me, you know that I always have stuff to make pasta in the cupboard because I just think if you've run out of groceries and you can't be bothered to go out and buy something it's such an easy thing to just quickly whip up so I got some gluten-free penne a can of sweet corn some tomato passata and some of this tomato and mascarpone pasta sauce I got a couple of these Alpro chocolate protein milks because I like to have them in my coffee. I got some resealable plastic bags because you never know when you're going to need those. And I also just got this one microfiber cloth to keep my sink in my room clean. And then randomly, I just decided to stock up on some stationery because firstly, all of my highlighters have run out. So I got a pack of those. I got some of these tabs that I use in my planner. And these are the pens that I use at work because I like to color code stuff. So I restocked on those. I also stocked stocked up on a few candles because I really just want this room to be full of flowers and candles. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for. And I had no candles left from my last place, which is very surprising to me because I always keep a stock going. So now we're all restocked and refreshed. Speaking of flowers, I got myself these two bunches, which I just thought were really pretty. And now moving on to the food that I'm actually going to use to prep and make meals this week. My first option is just a classic cheese and salad sandwich because for some reason, I 
I've been craving that. So for that, I got some romaine lettuce, some rocket, a couple of these gluten-free baguettes, baby plum tomatoes, baby cucumbers, some mature cheddar slices, corn slices, and some red onions, which I always like to be stocked up on. Another meal idea that I had for this week was vegetable omelets with potatoes on the side. It just sounded so good. So for that, I got some of these baby potatoes with her butter, obviously some eggs. I'm gonna put some peppers in there as well as onions. So I got both of those. If I'm not really feeling like either of those meals, then another thing that I want to prep is a tofu scramble using all of the veg that I got as well as obviously tofu. Probably gonna have some broccoli on the side and maybe even some corn on the cob. This was a rogue choice. I just saw it and kind of felt like it. So I got it. I made the mistake of going grocery shopping while I was absolutely starving. And then the last couple bits I got were some cherries because these looked amazing, some blueberries to have with Greek yogurt for breakfast. All in all, this cost me like £100. It was absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how I ended up spending so much, but at least this is going to get me through a long time. Obviously, all of the condiments and spices are going to last a while, and I think my groceries for the week are actually going to last me at least like a week and a half to two weeks. So I'm very happy about that. I'm going to put everything away and and that'll be it for today. I last filmed any kind of update mainly because this week has been such a whirlwind so like I mentioned I was finishing up my old job on Monday and Tuesday and then I moved the rest of my stuff in that evening and pretty much got straight into inductions at the new hospital on Wednesday so it's been a lot I've kind of just been trying to spend my time settling in getting my shit organized meeting new people socializing that kind of thing and now here we are it's Saturday the 5th of of August and I kind of just wanted to wrap up this vlog. So first things first, I just wanted to chat about my induction because I was really anxious and now I'm thinking, why was I? It was such a lovely couple of days meeting all of the new F2s and getting acquainted with the Obers and Gynae team who, by the way, are really lovely. Literally one of the first things that they said during our induction was that they want to make sure they're taking care of their juniors, they're teaching us, they're looking out for our mental health, supporting us and if I'm honest I have not experienced that in the last four months and it was just such a nice thing to hear that they genuinely cared about us and I don't know it made me a little bit emotional at the fact that they actually made a thing about saying that during our induction really meant a lot to me and it makes me think that I'm going to be very well supported for the next four months and because I do want to go into Obs and Gynae I think I'm going to have plenty of people to support me with that and offer their advice and tell me where to go next pretty much so that was the induction I also got my F2 ID badge which I'm really excited about I didn't particularly dress up for my photo but I'm hoping that that's okay and that is the update I start properly working on Monday which I'm so excited about I also found out that the way it works is they send you a rota each week telling you where you're going to be because there are four wards in Ops and Gynae so it's the labor ward the gynae ward the antenatal ward and the postnatal ward and when we were in our inductions, I was like, how do you split this up? Are we all just each based on a different ward? Do we get to mix? Do we get a choice? And it turns out that we are very well varied and spread out throughout the week. So next week, I've got a very good mix of the labor ward, gynae ward, theaters, scrubbing in, all of that. And I'm so excited. And apparently, I can even talk to the rotor coordinator if I want to specifically go and sit in any clinics or scans or anything like that so it's looking really good and I'm really really excited so 
All that I have left to do is finish off my room and make this feel like home. I'm pretty much like 99% of the way there. I popped out to the shops this morning and just grabbed a couple of finishing touches, including a little rug for around my bed area, which I think just ties in the space really nicely. And I also got this really lovely gray fluffy blanket for my little coffee slash reading note. That was kind of all I wanted in terms of buying things. I think everything else is pretty much sorted and organized and livable and I figured to end off this video I would just do a quick completed room tour. This is what the room is currently looking like as you pan round. So as you first walk in on the left is the sink area. I've tried to maximize the organization around the sink area by putting these drawers on the shelf and this has pretty much got all the stuff that I use every day. So like skincare, hair care, body care, my contact lenses, all of that kind of stuff at easy access. And then under the sink is where I'm keeping my shower caddy. This has got all of my shower and bath products in, mainly just because this isn't the type of accommodation where I would leave all of my stuff in the shower. It's quite busy and there's no guarantee that I'm gonna be able to use the same shower every day. So I'm just keeping this here for easy access so that I can take it with me when I need to go to the bathroom. So I've got shampoo, conditioner, this scalp massage, which if you don't have one of these I would highly recommend it's such a like self-care moment in the shower it feels so good I've got my loofah I've got hair masks all this kind of stuff in here so I just keep it there for easy access as you saw earlier in the vlog I've put all of my shoes in this little Elizabethan armoire thing and I think it looks pretty sick in the top drawer I've got all of my scrubs in the second drawer all of my kind of summer stuff bikinis cover-ups my third drawer has all of my pajamas Pajamas, underwear, socks, everything like that. Moving on round, I've just added a couple of hooks to my cupboard door so that I can hang some of my daily essentials like my dressing gown, gym bag, my everyday handbag, that kind of stuff. And then the inside of my cupboard's pretty much looking exactly the same as how you last saw it. I just added my laundry bag in there for ease and to hide it away. And then as we continue on round, we reach probably one of my favorite areas of the whole room and that is my cozy little coffee coffee slash reading nook. I honestly cannot wait to have my morning coffee sitting in this chair looking out of this window. I feel like it's just going to be so idealistic and a very easy way to romanticize your life. And then we move on round to my bed area which again I feel like I managed to make so cozy and cute and homey which was exactly the vibe that I was going for. Like I mentioned earlier in the video I wanted candles and flowers everywhere which as you can see I've got those on my bedside table other things I've got there are just kind of like daily little essentials and knickknacks like tissues a lighter a little tray to hold my jewelry at night and then finally the last little section of my room is the desk area which I try to keep fairly minimal while still having it be functional and cute so over here I've got all of my essentials my laptop iPad a cute little bouquet of flowers which you've already seen and then under the desk is where I've kept all of my stuff that I use to get ready in the morning. So my hair tools, my mirror, it's just easy access so then I can get it out in the morning and get ready. And next to my desk is this chest of drawers on top of which I decided to make my little coffee station, which I love. So I've got my coffee maker, this little acrylic organizer with all my coffee pods in it. Obviously I've got some mugs. And then in this little basket, this is kind of like my catch-all nickname next kind of junk drawer thing so my stethoscope lanyard all the stuff I need every day it just has a place to live then rather than cluttering up my room and lastly just in these drawers I have a bunch of clothes my proudest moment is probably my workout drawer because it's so aesthetically pleasing I've got some denim in the second drawer and then just all of my t-shirts and tops in the third and that is pretty much it for this moving vlog what I will do is insert a couple of clips of what this room looks like at night because I've put lights everywhere and I'm not gonna lie it is such a vibe I've made it so cozy in here and I could not be happier I'm so grateful for this fresh start I cannot wait to enter this new chapter and take you guys along with me and yeah I'm really really grateful for each and every one of you I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next one bye